Danny Johnson. 98% of the population will end up dead or dead broke dead dead by the age of 65. Danny Johnson. The question I have for you, is that how you want to be? Is that the life that you want? Well, if you look at what everybody else is doing and you live the way they are, then that's what you're going to have. Why live under the burden of death? I say look at what everybody else is doing and do the opposite. Danny Johnson. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Today we are going to have a very unique show. I'm super excited to be able to talk to you. In starting your week off right, there's something that I learned 25 years ago. And that was that if you want to be successful, you've got to study successful people. What a blessing that was to learn 25 years ago. And who said it to me? A multimillionaire actually said it to me. I was a young, fledgling weakling of a business person, 19 years old when I first got into business. I didn't grow um, fr up from a family of business owners. In fact, I grew up from a family of welfare recipients, and those welfare recipients never had a job. So they never went to work. They never, like, had goals other than rolling 20 joints a day was pretty much was the goal. Um, but anyway, the, the kind of home that I grew up in did not prepare me for finances, didn't prepare me for a job, didn't prepare me for business. But at 19, I met some business people, of which uh, one was a multimillionaire. And he was teaching and training other people how to be successful in business. And I'm so very grateful that I was told that if I wanted to succeed, that I needed to learn from this particular individual. And one of the major nuggets that he gave me that, ha that I have used for the last 25 years is that if you want to be successful, you've got to study other successful people. So I've done that. I've studied some successful dead people. <laughs> I've studied some successful living people, some historical people. I love reading uh, biographies about people who have done some very unusual, very powerful things, people who've had great influence in the world. I've learned so much and have applied it into my life. Uh, at the age of 19, I was failing in business, but after I learned from someone who was successful, then I started to have some great success, only to end up losing that success at 21, being homeless after a failed marriage, and $2.03 to my name, a $35,000 debt, 50 pounds overweight. But using the skill set that I had learned the year before from all that I had invested into those training seminars, learning about money and people and business, um, then that new business that I started from the trunk of my car in a payphone booth resulted into me making my first million within two years. Today, I'm a multimillionaire, best-selling author, international speaker, who is passionate about seeing you succeed wildly in the marketplace, using high moral standards and concepts and strategies that have stood against the test of time and have stood against any kind of economy. Joining me today uh, is Rick Hennett. He and his wife, Melissa, first time I actually met Rick was back in Portland, Oregon, 2007. He was actually one of those business people who was suffering at the time. He was suffocating under a tremendous amount of debt. His landscaping business was not doing well. He was actually thinking about closing that thing down. He came out to First Steps to Success, which is a training seminar that I will be doing this weekend, actually, in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, May 3rd, 4th, and 5th is when that, that particular event has taken place. And so the same exact training seminar that I've been doing for 23 years, Rick Hennett happened to be invited to one by one of his close friends, Jeff Usner, who, by the way, at the time was also suffering financially. And so Rick, I will never forget meeting him, sitting across the table and asking some questions. He and his friend actually had earned a private luncheon with my husband and I and uh, because they had brought a tremendous amount of people through the event. And in that private luncheon, um, a few people got to ask some questions. And my husband and I were just doing some simple business consulting. And Rick took that information and went and multiplied his failing landscaping business into a tremendous amount of success. Rick and his wife, Melissa, have started other businesses since then, and you have actually seen them on the Shark Tank. And they actually are going to be again on the show, uh, a kind of a behind-the-scenes thing, and he's going to talk about that. And you've met him before if you've been tuning into the Danny Johnson Show. We had he and his wife as guests before. But Rick uh, is joining us from Austin, Texas. Rick, welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Hello, friends. So good to hear your voice always, Danny. 
So good to hear yours, too. I'm just so very proud of you, Rick. I really am. This has been such a fun story to follow. And I'm excited for you to be inter- be introduced to some people that don't know you and some of our very faithful clients who have been watching your success, too. Can you please share for a minute, because there's a lot of business people out there who have been suffering through failing, who have been suffocating under debt and have had the stresses of life pressing on them. What was it like back in 2007 when that was your life? Well, it wasn't a whole lot of fun, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I was thankful that I had someone reach out to me and say, hey, you need to come out to Oregon uh, and see this lady. She's pretty wild, but she's on point. And I just trusted my friend and said, well, I have nothing to lose. You know, I've got debt. I'm not where I want to be. I'm very frustrated, very aggravated. And that was June 23, 2007 when I came out. Pretty much everything changed from that point. So, Rick, what were the struggles that you were having in your business specifically? I think the biggest thing was people skills. And uh, coming out and hearing you teach about if you know more about people than you do your trade, your craft, you'll be wildly successful. And I got it. It just clicked. Yeah. Uh, and I came home. It was just myself. Obviously, I wasn't with my beautiful bride. But I came home and I told Melissa, I said, I found something huge. I found a treasure And I said, I'm going to dedicate the next year of my life minimum, if not two years, and wherever Danny goes, you will find me. I will be there. And you saw me. Everywhere you were in the country, I was there. And I was doing exactly what you were talking about at the beginning of the show, studying someone that's more successful than you. And you were wildly more successful than me. Wow. So the the frustrating now, see, you learned at first steps what actually was uh, the problem in your business. But what did you because th- a lot of business people, they don't know what the problem is. So what did you think your problem was with your landscaping business? Meaning what kind of excuses were you using at that time? Because it wasn't working. So what were what was in your head is what you thought the problem to be? Yeah, it definitely wasn't me, Danny. It had nothing to do with me. <laughs> It was the clients, it was our equipment, uh, wrong part of town, wrong part of the country. I mean, you name it. The, the excuses were all over the place. And uh, I kind of get laughed upside the head by you and learned that I was making all kinds of excuses. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a huge wake-up call. So did you think that your employees were the problem? Oh, they were definitely part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so my employees are the problem. We're on the wrong side of town. We have the wrong equipment. It's the wrong time to be in landscaping, right? So we come up with all these crazy excuses as to why our businesses are failing. And so then you come and you hear this crazy woman speak at First Steps to Success. And basically, I shine a mirror in your face as well as the other, I don't know, I think there were 500 people at the time in that event. I think, I think exactly, actually. And 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 you learn like, whoa, wait a minute. The missing factor here is I don't know how to communicate with my employees properly. I don't know how to communicate with the public properly. I don't know how to be able to bid and sell these jobs properly. The problem isn't the equipment. It's not the employees. It's not the location of my business. It's not the business itself that it's a landscaping business, and that's why I'm failing. But you found just a simple little nugget that changed everything. What did you see happen? And by the way, I'm really proud of you because you were a, first of all, a humble man. You see, there's a lot of people in business that are struggling, failing, and they're trying to keep up on airs. Uh, They're trying to show people that they're not failing. Uh, But you humbled yourself and you realized something's got to change. Something's got to change in such a way that, that I've got to have some success here. I can't keep going on the same stinking path that I've been on. I got to find a different way to be able to build this and you were rare Rick because so many people will do this they will say well what she's teaching doesn't apply to me she's not in the landscaping business so how can she help my landscaping business you know and you know she's talking about a completely different topic that really doesn't work for what I do but you were a rare humble man who was teachable in that moment and you grabbed that information especially about people skills you applied them and when we continue right after this short break we're gonna hear what were the first things that you did and how did that equate into dollars in your pocket and bigger profits for that business this is Danny Johnson you're listening to the Danny Johnson show we'll continue with more right after this 
there's something in you that's calling out and reaching out and striving and you know that when you're performing and when you're singing or when you're dancing there's nothing like it because you feel like you're finally doing what you were born to do so who are the stars of tomorrow who do they look up to and how will they change the culture amtc is actors models and talent for christ a talent development ministry with a mission to find, prepare, and launch God's talent. Go to amtcaudition.com to find the nearest dates and cities where free auditions will be occurring near you. Some of us are called to be in front of cameras and on sets. That's still our mission field. Answer the call. Go to amtcaudition.com. That's amtcaudition.com. Hi, I'm eHarmony.com founder, Dr. Neil Clark Warren. When we started eHarmony.com in the year 2000, we never dreamed that by the year 2013, we'd have over 565,000 marriages. A high percentage of these marriages have involved two persons deeply dedicated to the Christian values we commonly espouse. Marriages that have proven to be unbelievably enduring and satisfying. Now, maybe you've never considered eHarmony. Some of you have tried us and didn't find what you were looking for. Whatever your story, I want you to know how deeply committed I am to the importance of maintaining a strong allegiance to everything Christian marriage stands for. If you've been away for a while, we want to welcome you back. We promise to do everything in our power to help you succeed. Come to eHarmony.com and get started today for free. This Easter, experience the hope of one family's remarkable story. You saw heaven? What does it look like? It's beautiful. The New York Times number one bestseller, Heaven is for Real, now a major motion picture, based on the incredible experience of a young boy's journey to heaven and his return home. Heaven is for Real, starring Greg Kinnear and introducing Connor Corum as Colton Burpo. In theaters Wednesday, April 16th. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Go to heavenisforrealmovieresources.com. I am Professor Radisson. This is Philosophy 150. Fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words. God is dead. When your faith is tested, would you fight for what you believe? I actually believe in God. To me, he's not dead. He's alive. God's not dead. He's surely alive. God's Not Dead, the movie. Join the movement at the box office and say, God's Not Dead, He's Surely Alive. Now playing. Rated PG. For more information, go to God's Not Dead, the movie.com. Four radio talk show hosts in a village called Kadwa. Here's Danny's story. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson, and I'm here with Vida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. We're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheets or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. When we came in, she said she wasn't smiling because she hadn't eaten yet. A mother gives her children whatever food that she has, and she's usually the last to eat. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? Thing. The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. But if you hope, hold the cause of these people, they're not asking for nice clothes. They're not asking for video games, new socks and underwear. It'd be great if they actually had a pair. We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Dial 855-916-4673 or go to kingsransom.org. That's 855-916-4673. Brooklyn Tabernacle Pastor Jim Cimbala on America's decline in 2014. And we're in one of the most massive declines, no matter how you try to spin it, in the history of our country. Average church size, the number of biblically defined Christians has sunk by four different polling agencies, somewhere between 6.3 to 9 percent of the population. The, the statistics are irrefutable. The church is in a massive decline. Pastors are leaving the ministry at 1,500 a month in America, all 50 states, about one per state per day. We have to go back to first principles of why are we here to spread the gospel? How can we do it successfully? Only through the power of the Holy Spirit. How can we live Christ-like lives when we spend more time with the Lord? Will spending time with the Lord save America in 2014? Check out Pray2014.com. That's P-R-A-Y 2014.com and get Pastor Symbola's prayer focus for this year at no cost. That's Pray2014.com.
Why don't you groom your kids for success? What's the option? Letting your daughter hang out with ne'er do wells and eventually bringing you a grandchild with a pierced navel? Don't get a grandbaby with a pierced navel. Listen to Danny Johnson. It'll turn things around. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. This is Danny Johnson. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. We're here every day, Monday through Friday. 12 to 2 Eastern, as well as on television, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. Check the website, danijohnson.com, for details about how you can find a radio or television station near you. We're also on Sirius XM Channel 131. The dannyjohnson.com website and app is also a place that you can stream live this particular show. Every single day, we're tackling either business, money, finances, Money and finance, the same thing. Family <laughs> or relationships. And today, joining me, Rick Hennett. He and his wife are the creators of Grace and Lace. They were seen on the Shark Tank, and they've been clients of ours, faithful clients of ours since 2007. Uh, Rick was just sharing with us the struggles that his landscaping business was having, which is actually what brought him to our training seminar, First Steps to Success at that time was in Portland, Oregon. Um, You know, interestingly enough, the seminar doesn't teach anything about landscaping, but it teaches you how to succeed in your current business, to take one that's in a rut or that is failing, or how to start one and how to make it uh, be what it is that you want it to be. So, Rick, you were just sharing the struggles that you were having, the excuses that you had, and all the things that you thought it was. You thought it was the employees, you thought it was the equipment, you thought you were on the wrong location, you know, and then you come to First Steps and it come to find out, whoa, wait a minute, none of those things were the problem, but that you were lacking skill sets in communicating with the employees, lacking the skill set of, of communicating with the public, being able to bid those jobs, get those customers, get referrals, and you've learned how to do that. The thing, too, Rick, that I'm so impressed by, and again, this is rare, you're such a humble man that you made that commitment. You came home and you told your wife, wherever Danny is for the next year, maybe two years, I'm going to be in every city that she's at learning from her. How did that pay off for you? Because that was quite an investment that you made. So what was the result of you becoming a student of the materials that we teach? Yeah, it definitely was not cheap to travel all around Mm -hmm. where you were, but um, it would have cost me multi-millions had I not. So the ROI of (laughs) coming to see you uh, has been, I just can't even explain, eight figures at this point. I don't know. It's it's crazy, but um, you taught you taught something called the form technique, yeah. and that really revolutionized everything for me. And I understood it doesn't matter what type of a business I have if my people skills improve, it just doesn't matter. Uh, so you know, I, I came back from from Oregon and put that to work instantly, and within a couple of months, uh, we had made. A forty thousand dollar profit right away. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Kept growing from there, and I didn't know anything, and still to this day, I don't know a whole lot about landscaping. <laughs> um, but I would sit down and talk to our clients and uh, form them, and a lot of times we wouldn't even talk about plants, trees. If they asked about it, I didn't really, I didn't really know what it was, <laughs> but uh, I knew about them and I knew about their story. Yeah. And more often than not, I would leave. Uh, their property, and they would say, well, we didn't really discuss numbers or the job or the scope, but we want you. Um, you're our guy. Uh, so it, it was just so cool to learn that from you. That's and I can incredible. tell you a, a current story on that if you'd like. Yeah, absolutely. Now, this is what's so incredible. So taking those techniques, and here's the thing, too, is that you were consistent, and you consistently had this material going inside of you so that you didn't get off track. And so here, your your, your business within two months makes you $40,000 in profits. You've also paid off all of your debt. Right. So how much debt did you have at that time? And you learned through first step success how to pay off that debt. How much debt have you paid off? And are you currently debt free? Yeah, we paid off at that time. We had about 80,000 in credit card debt. We got that paid off within an 18 month period. Um, Today, we live completely 100 percent debt free. We own multiple properties, um, have a fair amount of assets. So I would say uh, we've probably paid off. $700,000 700000 in total debt. Oh, my gosh. $700,000 worth of debt completely paid off, living a completely debt-free life. 
They have a brand new business that they started just a couple of years ago that got the attention of the Shark Tank, so much so that now they're back on again with a special series of the Shark Tank. I, I don't know, man. All I know is, is that you and your wife have done amazing things. When we continue, we're going to hear more about the, the Shark Tank experience, that new business, Grace and Lace, that uh, I have in my closet. That's for darn sure. <laughs> it's a great product. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with the Danny Johnson Show right after this. This Easter, experience the hope of one family's remarkable story. You saw heaven? What does it look like? It's beautiful. The New York Times number one bestseller, Heaven is for Real, now a major motion picture based on the incredible experience of a young boy's journey to heaven and his return home. Heaven is for Real, starring Greg Kinnear and introducing Connor Corum as Colton Burpo. In theaters Wednesday, April 16th. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Go to heavenisforrealmovieresources.com. I'm Professor Radisson. This is Philosophy 150. Fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words. God is dead. When your faith is tested, would you fight for what you believe? I actually believe in God. To me, he's not dead. He's alive. God's not dead. He's surely alive. God's Not Dead, the movie. Join the movement at the box office and say, God's Not Dead, He's Surely Alive. Now playing. Rated PG. For more information, go to God's Not Dead, the movie.com. Hi, I'm eHarmony.com founder, Dr. Neil Clark Warren. When we started eHarmony.com in the year 2000, we never dreamed that by the year 2013, we'd have over 565,000 marriages. A high percentage of these marriages have involved two persons deeply dedicated to the Christian values we commonly espouse. Marriages that have proven to be unbelievably enduring and satisfying. Now, maybe you've never considered eHarmony. Some of you have tried us and didn't find what you were looking for. Whatever your story, I want you to know how deeply committed I am to the importance of maintaining a strong allegiance to everything Christian marriage stands for. If you've been away for a while, we want to welcome you back. We promise to do everything in our power to help you succeed. Come to eHarmony.com and get started today for free. Brooklyn Tabernacle Pastor Jim Cimbala on America's decline in 2014. And we're in one of the most massive declines, no matter how you try to spin it, in the history of our country. Average church size, the number of biblically defined Christians has sunk by four different polling agencies, somewhere between 6.3 to 9 percent of the population. The, the statistics are irrefutable. The church is in a massive decline. Pastors are leaving the ministry at 1,500 a month in America, all 50 states, about one per state per day. We have to go back to first principles of why are we here to spread the gospel? How can we do it successfully? Only through the power of the Holy Spirit. How can we live Christ-like lives when we spend more time with the Lord? Will spending time with the Lord save America in 2014? Check out Pray2014.com. That's P-R-A-Y 2014.com and get Pastor Symbola's prayer focus for this year at no cost. That's Pray2014.com. There's something in you that's calling out and reaching out and striving and you know that when you're performing and when you're singing or when you're dancing, there's nothing like it because you feel like you're finally doing what you were born to do. So who are the stars of tomorrow? Who do they look up to? And how will they change the culture? AMTC is Actors, Models, and Talent for Christ, a talent development ministry with a mission to find, prepare, and launch God's talent. Go to amtcaudition.com to find the nearest dates and cities where free auditions will be occurring near you. Some of us are called to be in front of cameras and on sets. That's still our mission field. Answer the call. Go to amtcaudition.com. That's amtcaudition.com. Four radio talk show hosts in a village called Codwell. Here's Danny's story. Hi, I'm 
Danny Johnson, and I'm here with Vida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. We're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheets or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. When we came in, she said she wasn't smiling because she hadn't eaten yet. A mother gives her children whatever food that she has, and she's usually the last to eat. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. But if you hold the cause of these people, they're not asking for nice clothes. They're not asking for video games, new socks and underwear. It'd be great if they actually have a pair. We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Dial 855-916-4673 or go to kingsransom.org. That's 855-916-4673. So politicians are all alike. Let me be clear, and I'll give you something you've never gotten anywhere else before. How's that working for you? You know what? She's tired of that mess. How about this? You listen to her. She brings you hope. You make the change. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. You want to be successful, friend, you've got to learn from successful people. That's the bottom line. Man, I learned that 25 years ago. <laughs> You want to be good at something? Find an expert that can show you how to do it. It's exactly what Rick Hennett did. He came out to First Steps to Success. He's from Austin, Texas. First Steps to Success is a training seminar I've been doing for 23 years. Hundreds of thousands of people have been through that particular training. We have tens of thousands of testimonials just like Rick Hennett. You'll be so inspired to hear more about the story. So Rick had a failing landscaping business. He was just sharing uh, (laughs) that he thought it was the landscaping business problem, that it was the equipment problem, it was the wrong location problem, it was the employee's problem. Well, when he came through our training seminar, he quickly found out that it, no, wasn't any of those problems, but that... He was the problem. (laughs) All of us are the problem. If we want something to change, we have to make the changes within ourselves. And the main key thing that he learned was how to communicate with all those that were around him that caused him to make $40,000 worth of profits the first couple of months. Wow. That's a big turnaround. Then to go on and make uh, millions of dollars paying off $700,000 worth of debt in just a few years, living completely debt free. They have a new business called Grace and Lay amazing product that was seen on the Shark Tank. Now, Rick, from what I understand the last time I interviewed you, you actually used those same exact (laughs) communication skills that we teach at First Steps to actually make the Shark Tank thing happen, to get on that show, and now here we are, you're going to be on it again. So talk about that story about how that came about. Well, I use the techniques every day, Danny. I mean, it's it's how I relate with people now. So um, obviously what you taught and what I learned and refined over the years work extremely well. If something's working, keep working it. That's right. Um, so, yeah, I just, I would, anytime I would talk to a producer at ABC, I would form them. Uh, we would be friends and people would be wanting to help us. Yeah. Um, you know, getting on this this next show is totally humbling, totally an honor. Uh, but it's the same thing. And it was really Barbara that she kind of pulled me aside one time after a big meeting. And she said, you know, I've, I've been watching you and you're really good with people. <laughs> um, and in my mind, this light bulb goes off and it's like, ding, 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 Danny Johnson, form, technique, hello, it works. It works really well. Yep. Wow. Rick, that's so crazy because you were not good with people prior to 2007, right? You, you were terrible with being able to communicate so much so that your business was failing. And, you know, I tell people this all the time. We are all in the people business. That's the bottom line. And money comes from people and opportunity comes from people. That's where money comes from. That's where opportunity comes from. And, you know, the Bible tells us that we are supposed to treat others the way we want to be treated. But there's very few people out there showing us exactly how to do that. And that's one of the things I love about First Steps to Success and the environment that's there is because it's a great environment for people to learn how exactly how to treat people in such a way with such awesome service, with such honor, with such respect that it opens doors for you and opportunity 
community brings money. And that's exactly what's happened for you is you've utilized these biblical principles because that's exactly all that I teach. They're all biblical principles, uh, but we teach them in a business environment and you've grabbed these things. So now you, you get on the Shark Tank the first time, you guys get exact and you learn some killer negotiating skills. You, you showed those negotiating skills on the Shark Tank. So now you guys are back on the show. Tell me about that. Well, um, we were in New York in early January uh, with a meeting that Barbara Corker and our shark investor had lined up for us with Giftis Danny, uh, the world's largest manufacturer of knitted goods. No way, uh, for Rick. What we do, this is the guy in the entire world. Now, if you were to guess, how would you think the meeting went? Because I was yes forming the whole time. It went fantastic, and uh, the guy who really makes Barbara, who's extremely well-off, yeah, he, his wealth makes her look like she's on food stamps. Wow. And uh, that was the meeting that Barbara pulled me aside and said, you're phenomenal with people. Um, I'm going to help you. I'm going to open doors that are really going to blow your mind. And one of which is this next opportunity uh, to be on this, this special show, Swimming with the Sharks, that airs on Friday. Um, and just such, such an honor to be on that because uh, there was only four entrepreneurs that they chose to be on it. So uh, we're incredibly honored. Wow. So this is crazy. Man, I got tears in my eyes. Um, all right. So using these people's skills that you learned, you do it every day because you said, so there's a powerful quote you said, when something works, keep working it. And these skills work in every business. So Barbara was your shark investor that you that you guys were targeting on your very first show, The Shark Tank. Um, and, and by the way, that's an interesting story, too. So through actually our connection with Secret Millionaire, um, I was on Secret Millionaire back in 2011, made some amazing contacts there. And then I recommended my friend Jeff Usner and Jennifer uh, to be on the show again because they had asked me, like, who else do you know that you would recommend to be on the show? And so, the, you know, Jeff used the same skill. He used the communication skills between gems and magnetic influence, uh, which I talk about, by the way, in First Steps to Wealth. Uh, These are specific people skills that I learned that I did as a homeless woman that helped me make my first million in business for in an industry I had no experience in at all. And uh, so anyway, so Jeff gets recommended to a secret millionaire. He uses the same skills that he learned at First Step Success. He, he awestrucks the producers there. And then bam, Jeff then recommends you <laughs> to these producers. <laughs> and then you end up on the show. So again, it's, it's good people skills, Good relationships. When you lead re- with relationship, business always follows. And that's exactly what you're demonstrating is relationship first, business follows. And so the relationship that you've built with your shark investor has now caused her to fall in love with you guys and, and to want to represent you and want to open doors with you. This reminds me of Exodus, right? This reminds me of where the children of Israel where God gave them favorable disposition and all of a sudden the people who enslaved them are now giving them opportunity, giving them their wealth. And and right now, this is a prime example, Rick. You've been honorable. You've used these honorable skill sets. You have been faithful with the little things. You you are faithful with paying off of your debt, not living a frivolous lifestyle anymore. And you really have great blessing that's fallen upon you, which is astounding to me. So this Friday, you're going to be on Swimming with the Sharks again, which is going to grow Grace and Lace all over again. So tell me a little bit about what that show is going to be about. So the show is really kind of the behind the scenes of what happens with Shark Tank. Um, They interview all six of the sharks. Uh, They talk about the worst pitches, the best pitches, which if you're going to be listening, then they're absolutely going to be talking about people skills without a question. So those that have the people skills, they're they're the ones that are doing quite well. Um, and then ABC chose four entrepreneurs to have a more in-depth conversation with. Um, and one of the cool things, I don't know if it'll make the air. You know how the TV world works where you film yep. this crazy amount of footage and yep. it's kind of edited down to a small amount. But uh, ABC was really intrigued by our heart to fund orphanages over in India. So yeah. I hope that makes it, but I don't know. But I do know this, Danny. Um, Shark Tank has already booked us for the fall to 
have another update that's going to be specific toward the orphanages. <laughs> wow, Rick. Which is crazy, paper. Yes. It's just crazy. Yes. Wow. And look at that, because that's a big part of who the DannyJohnson.com community is, which you're a part of that community, this community of people that we believe in going out and bringing our very best into the marketplace. We believe in producing excellent quality work into the marketplace, being diligent, being people of our word. And as we do that, and as we bring honor and respect to those that we work with internally and externally, we prosper greatly. We take a portion of those profits and we give it to those who are in need. That's the DannyJohnson.com community. And you're a perfect representative of what that is. Of Now we've got these millions. What do we do? And, and it, it doesn't take millions to do it. It takes that when we have a little bit, we give $1 for every 10 that we make straight off the top of our gross businesses goes straight to taking care of things like Kadwa Haiti, rebuilding an entire village that was demolished, or taking care of the sons of the martyred ones in India who, who are orphans that were orphaned because their parents were martyred for Christ. These Indian orphanages or orphanages through Belize, and we take care of thousands of orphans every single month. And Rick is a part of that group of people that are doing that. Just look at this picture of these amazing dynamic business people who are using their lives to set an awesome example for how everybody should be living. Rick, uh, we're going to continue to hear more about this show coming up on Friday, what time, and how people can get a hold of you through graceandlace.com. We'll continue with more after this. Hi, I'm eHarmony.com founder, Dr. Neil Clark Warren. When we started eHarmony.com in the year 2000, we never dreamed that by the year 2013, we'd have over 565,000 marriages. A high percentage of these marriages have involved two persons deeply dedicated to the Christian values we commonly espouse, marriages that have proven to be unbelievably enduring and satisfying. Now, maybe you've never considered eHarmony. Some of you have tried us and didn't find what you were looking for. Whatever your story, I want you to know how deeply committed I am to the importance of maintaining a strong allegiance to everything Christian marriage stands for. If you've been away for a while, we want to welcome you back. We promise to do everything in our power to help you succeed. Come to eHarmony.com and get started today for free. This Easter, experience the hope of one family's remarkable story. You saw heaven? What does it look like? It's beautiful. The New York Times number one bestseller, Heaven is for Real, now a major motion picture based on the incredible experience of a young boy's journey to heaven and his return home. Heaven is for Real, starring Greg Kinnear and introducing Connor Corum as Colton Burpo. In theaters Wednesday, April 16th. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Go to heavenisforrealmovieresources.com. I am Professor Radisson. This is Philosophy 150. Fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words. God is dead. When your faith is tested, would you fight for what you believe? I actually believe in God. To me, he's not dead. He's alive. God's not dead. He's surely alive. God's Not Dead, the movie. Join the movement at the box office and say, God's Not Dead. He's surely alive. Now playing. Rated PG. For more information, go to God's Not Dead, the movie.com. Four radio talk show hosts in a village called Kadwa. Here's Danny's story. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson, and I'm here with Fida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. We're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheets or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. When we came in, she said she wasn't smiling because she hadn't eaten yet. A mother gives her children whatever food that she has, and she's usually the last to eat. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? Thing. The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. But if you hold the cause of these people, they're not asking for nice clothes. They're not asking for video games, new socks and underwear. It'd be great if they actually had a pair. We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Dial 855-916-4673 or go to kingsransom.org. That's 855-916-4673. 
There's something in you that's calling out and reaching out and striving and you know that when you're performing and when you're singing or when you're dancing there's nothing like it because you feel like you're finally doing what you were born to do so who are the stars of tomorrow who do they look up to and how will they change the culture amtc is actors models and talent for christ a talent development ministry with a mission to find, prepare, and launch God's talent. Go to amtcaudition.com to find the nearest dates and cities where free auditions will be occurring near you. Some of us are called to be in front of cameras and on sets. That's still our mission field. Answer the call. Go to amtcaudition.com. That's amtcaudition.com. Brooklyn Tabernacle Pastor Jim Cimbala on America's decline in 2014. And we're in one of the most massive declines, no matter how you try to spin it, in the history of our country. Average church size, the number of biblically defined Christians has sunk by four different polling agencies, somewhere between 6.3 to 9% of the population. The, the statistics are irrefutable. The church is in a massive decline. Pastors are leaving the ministry at 1,500 a month in America, all 50 states. States, about one per state per day. We have to go back to first principles of why are we here to spread the gospel? How can we do it successfully? Only through the power of the Holy Spirit. How can we live Christ-like lives when we spend more time with the Lord? Will spending time with the Lord save America in 2014? Check out Pray2014.com. That's P-R-A-Y 2014.com. And get Pastor Symbola's prayer focus for this year at no cost. That's Pray2014.com. No matter where she goes on this planet, she finds people of all stripes, emeralds, rubies, sapphires, pearls. She's made it a point to teach success better than anyone else in America. So welcome to the international headquarters of your new future. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. Grew up on welfare, pregnant at 17, homeless at 21. A millionaire by 23. Today, I'm a multi-millionaire, best-selling author, international speaker, and I'm passionate about you becoming outrageously successful. I have been teaching and training people for more than two decades on how to succeed in their jobs, their businesses, their families, their finances. We've helped hundreds of thousands of people have wild success. You can find thousands of testimonials on the website, dannyjohnson.com. And today we are interviewing Rick Hennett, one of our faithful clients since 2007, who you've seen on the Shark Tank. And you will see this Friday night on the Shark Tank as well. He's used what he's learned of years of studying at First Steps to Success, utilizing our materials like Magnetic Influence or First Steps to Wealth, uh, which is our most uh, recent best-selling book. In fact, I'd like to give you a free copy of that book. In fact, we turned it into an ebook. You can download it right now. For the first three callers who call our office right now, we will give you a copy of our free ebook, First Steps to Wealth. And if you'd like a physical copy, you pay the shipping to get it to your house, and we'd be glad to send you the copy of the $16 book. The number is 866-760-8255. Again, that's 866-760-8255. Or you can go to Danny Johnson, D-A-N-I Johnson.com. On the right-hand corner, you'll see a copy of First Steps to Wealth. Rick has used these exact strategies <laughs> that we talk about in First Steps to Wealth to be able to make millions of dollars in the marketplace after failing in business, you can learn the same exact skills and strategies. And if you're really serious, you'll do what Rick did. He hopped on an airplane, flew out of state to come to First Steps to Success Live. Check the website, click on events, and it'll tell you where the next First Steps is. Baltimore, Maryland, May 3rd, 4th, and 5th. If you're listening to this live on the radio right now, there's no excuse. Rick, so this Friday night, um, Swimming with the Sharks is going to be airing. You and Melissa are on that show again. What time is that airing across the country? 
7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Okay, so 7 o'clock Central Standard Time, which means 5 o'clock California time? Or is it just 7 o'clock straight across the board? Whatever. We know how they do it. Take a check the website of, of Shark Tank or Swimming with the Sharks to find that out. Um, so you are being interviewed again on that show. Oh, gosh, I'm telling you, I'm so excited for the two of you. I really am. Um, it's been so fun. I'm totally going to lose it. It's been so fun um, watching you two develop into who you've become and to know that you are still having great success to know, in fact, uh, I know you read Spirit Driven Success and you've listened to those mm-hmm. audios. Um, I talked about in there, I think it's in chapter two, the big picture and your part in it. And one of the things that the Lord had shown me was that he was going to raise up people and put them in high and influential places. He's going to raise up his people uh, with an unusual level of skill set. He was going to give people um, unusual uh, um, business ideas, even inventions. He was going to put people um, in places in Hollywood, on television, raise up musicians that, that would begin to be able to penetrate those very places of high influential uh, uh, positions so that they would be so that people then would be influenced with higher moral standards and and that the gospel would be heard in the business realm and in the entertainment realm and little did i know rick i'm telling you when the lord gave me that word i didn't think for 2 seconds that it would be us i didn't think for 2 seconds that it would be my clients that he would do that with or that he would do it with me because at that time i had not been on television at that time we didn't have a radio show a television show you know i hadn't been on oprah yet i had been on Secret Millionaire or the hundreds of news uh, interviews that I've done, I had no idea that he was talking about us, you, me, Jeff, uh, Gina Alexander. We have so many clients that have been featured on television because of their rip-roaring wild success. How does it feel um, to know? Because I know you read that in that book. I know you heard that teaching on the audios. How does it feel to be that one that God was saying he'd do it with? I'm just, words can't express, Danny. I'm so humbled and honored and so thankful and grateful. And, you know, Melissa and I kind of pinch ourselves every single day at the life that we have. And that's not to say that it's perfect. It's not. There's challenges, as we all have. There's tragedies that we all go through. But um, to live with a purpose and to do and to be a part of, of the Danny Johnson team that is changing the world, it just, I'm, my hair is standing up on its ends right now just thinking about it. I'm so proud of how you guys have led. I'm so proud how um, you guys haven't lost yourselves. Um, I'm really, really proud of you that you're still carrying that banner of truth, hope, and opportunity to people. What do you say to the guy right now or the gal who's failing in their business and they think it's all the other reasons that you used to think? Well, think about this. It was only seven years ago when I came to the first event um, and saw you. And if I was to tell anyone, if you could look ahead in seven years and you'll have a phenomenal relationship with Jesus, you'll have a phenomenal marriage, your businesses will be making multi, multi millions, who wouldn't want to go? So there's really, it's three things. Uh, and you've already discussed it before, but remaining humble. And if, if you're not humble, look at your bank account. That's what I looked at, and I was extremely humble every time I looked at that thing. Uh, be teachable. Oh, my gosh. I came. I didn't have to have someone talk me into success. You were successful. So it was pretty simple. If I just do what Danny's teaching, I can succeed, too. I mean, your circumstances were horrendous compared to mine, so I had no excuse. And then thirdly is to be hungry. Keep coming back. There's always... Uh, more skill that we can attain, and I'm I'm in that spot right now in all three of those spots. I'm humble, I'm absolutely hungry every single day, and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, I kind of get teared up just thinking about this journey that we've gone through together. Um, but really, that's it. Yep. Get to first steps to success. Man, what if you had not gone, Rick? Where do you think your oh, life would be right now? It, it could be pretty disastrous. I could have gone bankrupt. I could, I might not be married. I may not have the wonderful children that I've got. I may not have the life uh, with Christ that I've got. Um, it, it could really 
be detrimental. So I'm so thankful that God opened the door for me to come see you, an incredible businesswoman, but also someone that loves God. Yes. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Rick, I'm so proud of you guys. And I can't wait for the, the world to see you guys back on Swimming with the Sharks, 7 p.m. Central Time this Friday night. Man, if you're listening or watching, please spread the word all over Facebook. Let everybody see this incredible, successful story that really came from nothing to now huge Rip Warren success. And I believe your success story is about to be written. Do what Rick has done. Listen to what he said. You too can have this position of influence and finances going from failure to millions and millions of dollars. We'll continue with more after this. Brooklyn Tabernacle Pastor Jim Cimbala on America's decline in 2014. And we're in one of the most massive declines, no matter how you try to spin it, in the history of our country. Average church size, the number of biblically defined Christians has sunk by four different polling agencies, somewhere between 6.3 to 9% of the population. The, The statistics are irrefutable. The church is in a massive decline. Pastors are leaving the ministry at 1,500 a month in America. America, all 50 states, about one per state per day. We have to go back to first principles of why are we here to spread the gospel? How can we do it successfully? Only through the power of the Holy Spirit. How can we live Christ-like lives when we spend more time with the Lord? Will spending time with the Lord save America in 2014? Check out Pray2014.com. That's P-R-A-Y 2014.com. And get Pastor Symbola's prayer focus for this year at no cost. That's Pray2014.com. Four radio talk show hosts in a village called Kadwa. Here's Danny's story. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson, and I'm here with Fida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. We're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheets or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. When we came in, she said she wasn't smiling because she hadn't eaten yet. A mother gives her children whatever food that she has, and she's usually the last to eat. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? Thing. The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. But if you help hold the cause of these people, they're not asking for nice clothes. They're not asking for video games, new socks and underwear. It'd be great if they actually have a pair. We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Dial 855-916-4673 or go to kingsransom.org. That's 855-916-4673. This Easter, experience the hope of one family's remarkable story. You saw heaven? What does it look like? It's beautiful. The New York Times number one bestseller, Heaven is for Real, now a major motion picture based on the incredible experience of a young boy's journey to heaven and his return home. Heaven is for Real, starring Greg Kinnear and introducing Connor Corum as Colton Burpo. In theaters Wednesday, April 16th. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Go to heavenisforrealmovieresources.com. I am Professor Radisson. This is Philosophy 150. Fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words. God is dead. When your faith is tested, would you fight for what you believe? I actually believe in God. To me, he's not dead. He's alive. God's not dead. He's surely alive. God's Not Dead. The movie. Join the movement at the box office and say, God's Not Dead. He's surely alive. Now playing. Rated PG. For more information, go to God's Not Dead, the movie.com. Hi, I'm eHarmony.com founder, Dr. Neil Clark Warren. When we started eHarmony.com in the year 2000, we never dreamed that by the year 2013, we'd have over 565,000 marriages. A high percentage of these marriages have involved two persons deeply dedicated to the Christian values we commonly espouse. Marriages that have proven to be unbelievably enduring and satisfying. Now, maybe you've never considered eHarmony. Some of you have tried us and didn't find what you were looking for. Whatever your story, I want you to know how deeply committed I am to the importance of maintaining a strong allegiance to everything Christian marriage stands for. 
If you've been away for a while, we want to welcome you back. We promise to do everything in our power to help you succeed. Come to eHarmony.com and get started today for free. There's something in you that's calling out and reaching out and striving and you know that when you're performing and when you're singing or when you're dancing there's nothing like it because you feel like you're finally doing what you were born to do so who are the stars of tomorrow who do they look up to and how will they change the culture amtc is actors models and talent for christ a talent development ministry with a mission to find, prepare, and launch God's talent. Go to amtcaudition.com to find the nearest dates and cities where free auditions will be occurring near you. Some of us are called to be in front of cameras and on sets. That's still our mission field. Answer the call. Go to amtcaudition.com. That's amtcaudition.com. Brooklyn Tabernacle Pastor Jim Cimbala on America's decline in 2014. And we're in one of the most massive declines, no matter how you try to spin it, in the history of our country. Average church size, the number of biblically defined Christians has sunk by four different polling agencies, somewhere between 6.3 to 9 percent of the population. The, the statistics are irrefutable. The church is in a massive decline. Pastors are leaving the ministry at 1,500 a month in America, all 50 states about one per state per day. We have to go back to first principles of why are we here to spread the gospel? How can we do it successfully? Only through the power of the Holy Spirit. How can we live Christ-like lives when we spend more time with the Lord? Will spending time with the Lord save America in 2014? Check out Pray2014.com. That's P-R-A-Y 2014.com. And get Pastor Symbola's prayer focus for this year at no cost. That's Pray2014.com. Danny Johnson. 98% of the population will end up dead or dead broke by the age of 65. Danny Johnson. The question I have for you, is that how you want to be? Is that the life that you want? Well, if you look at what everybody else is doing and you live the way they are, then that's what you're going to have. Why live under the burden of death? I say look at what everybody else is doing and do the opposite. Danny Johnson. Welcome to hour two of the Danny Johnson Show. Oh my gosh, what an amazing first hour. Oh, I have to tell you, man, I had tears in my eyes. My, my belly was shaking. So very proud of our client, Rick and Melissa Hennett. Wow. 2007, they came to us completely broke. Gosh, this just completely blows my mind. Ah. Hey, if you missed the first hour of the Danny Johnson show, you got to go hear it, okay? And just to kind of recap real short, 2007, uh, Rick was flat broke. His landscaping business was failing. He's from Austin, Texas. He thought it was his employees' fault, the equipment's fault, the location of his business's fault. He thought it was the economy's fault. He had all kinds of excuses as to why his business was failing. But he had no money. He had $80,000 in just credit card debt plus Hello, hundreds of thousands of dollars of other debt, over $700,000 of other debt that he was carrying. And he did not have a way out. He didn't know how to make it happen. And his good friend, Jeff Usner, who also at the time was failing financially, failing in his uh, family life and his health, had told him about first steps to success. Well, 2007, Rick came and he learned some powerful communication skills that he applied into his business. He made a commitment for two years that he would, every city that I was in teaching and training about business, finance, and relationships, that he would be learning. And he did that. Every, for two years, I saw that man's face in crowds of people. Um, and we continue to see Rick's face, uh, even to this day. Um, but anyway, so Rick, um, Right away, within two months, turned his business over and made $40,000 in profits. He grew that business tremendously, paid off $80,000 in credit card debt in 18 months. He's completely debt-free, paying off over $700,000 worth of debt. You've seen them on the Shark Tank. Uh, they were on the Shark Tank uh, last year, 
And uh, their new business, Grace and Lace, now they have several companies. Their new business, Grace and Lace, was chosen uh, by one of the sharks. And now that business has grown tremendously. They're going to be back on the show. But the show now is called uh, Swimming with the Sharks, 7 p.m. Central Time. And if you missed Rick's interview, you got to hear it. You got to hear about the struggles. You got to hear the specific strategies that he pulled out of First Steps and how he applied those. So, uh, and also, uh, they're already scheduled for next fall to be on the show again. This is obviously causing Grace and Lace to grow tremendously. And that's been something that's been in my heart. And by the way, they're using the money that they're making with these businesses to do exactly what we teach at DannyJohnson.com. Give to those who are in need. Yes, things like Kadwa Haiti or like our orphanages, like one of them that's in, in India. Kadwa Haiti, for example, an earthquake hit this village, completely demolished it, destroyed their water supply, uh, their food supply, their homes. Now they're living in huts put together by banana leaves and, and branches. And I mean, it's, it's terrible, bug infested, no place to lay their beautiful children's heads, no clean water to be able to give their babies. And yet people have have ignored this. They have gone, oh, well, too bad, so sad. I'm one person. What can I do? And see, part of the vision with DannyJohnson.com is that we raise up people in the marketplace to make more money and annihilate their debt and live the life they've always wanted to live. But also on the side, we give one dollar out of every 10 that we make to help those who cannot help themselves. We have found an organization called KingsRansom.org. King's Ransom Foundation, actually, is the organization, but kingsransom.org. If, if something like Kadwa Haiti has touched on your heart even right now, then go over to kingsransom.org and give what you can. Maybe the 10 bucks you are about to spend driving through for lunch. Instead of doing that, back up fast for lunch or go find something in your house and give the $10 to Kadwa Haiti. It can make a difference. We're, we're transforming that entire village. We're building 65 homes, a sugar plant that's going to supply 200 jobs, clean water, two clean water supplies that we're bringing in, which is going to improve the food. We are transforming an entire village of 2,000 people, and we can't do it alone. We need your help. Go to kingsransom.org, do what you can. Instead of Starbucks for the next two weeks, give that money you would spend on Starbucks. Instead of going to the mall to buy new clothes this week, give that money for Kadwa Haiti. Again, kingsransom.org. You'll see it right on the homepage. It says Kadwa Haiti. Click on that, and it'll take you directly to the page where you can be able to help, as well as see the other people who have been helping and giving so sacrificially to be able to help these poor people in Kadwa Haiti Get a better life, as simple as a home and water and food, something that we take for granted every single, shall I say it again, every single day. So I'm so stoked that uh, Rick and his wife, Melissa, from Grace and Lace, that's their newest business that has taken off like crazy. And uh, if you want to hear that story, too, if you go to our website, I interviewed them right after the original show of uh, The Shark Tank. So we got a two-hour interview with them um, some months back. If you go to the website, dannyjohnson.com, you'll be able to find that on our radio and television archives. Uh, yeah, you got to hear their story. It is so powerful. For this next hour of the Danny Johnson Show, I have another client who also was failing. She's a chiropractor, failing in her chiropractic business, failing financially big time. Uh, in fact, going into debt... Well, I'll let her tell the story. Every single month, they were going into debt, not even realizing where the money was going. Uh, and when we encountered them, I actually was speaking at a, at, at a private corporate event with about 3,000 people. And uh, Dr. Mary Starr happened to be at that event. She's a chiropractor. She uh, uses a manufacturer for some of the products that she uses when she's using as a chiropractor. And she specializes in essential oils. And so she happened to be at that manufacturer's convention that I was speaking at. And that's actually how she came in contact with our, with our content, with our training, and uh, was humble enough to say, I need help. I am not doing well financially, and, and I need to get some, some better training uh, so that I can help my business grow. Dr. Mary Starr is also a family friend of ours. Um, we have a very personal connection. Uh, she was with me when I was paralyzed from the waist down. Uh, she was uh, the one to witness my healing that happened on February 7th of 2009. She was also the person that witnessed for 25 days as she lived with us, uh, left her, her business for 25 days 
and came and served um, my very, very sick body and did it so tirelessly, did it with such precision and wisdom and uh, tried everything she knew to try to bring me back to health. And uh, I got miraculously healed right in front of her eyes, which also changed a completely different area of her life as well. So Dr. Mary Starr, I can't wait to hear your voice. I'm excited. Just so happens you sent me a text yesterday and I was thinking, I want to interview somebody. And then you send me this text about what's been going on with your business and career. And it's exploding also. Uh, So excited to have you with us and to share you with our listeners. Coast to Coast, by the way, the Danny Johnson Show is Coast to Coast. Also, this show will be airing... uh, Sunday night, 66 million homes get this television broadcast as well. So, Mary, thanks for joining us and taking time out of your busy day. Oh, thank you so much, Danny. I've literally been in tears. Um, your words are just awesome, and, and just what's happened over the, just the past month is just incredible. And I just have so much to thank to you, the DJC team, and First Steps to Success radically, radically, radically changed my life. And now hundreds and hundreds of our team members, our staff, I, I, it's, it's incredible. It really, really is. Let's talk about those early days prior to, it was 2008, right, when we first came in contact with each other? Uh, 2007. 2007. Uh, about the fall of 2007. And, um, yeah, actually, my husband and I, you were going to be speaking at um, one of our corporate events, and we saw that you were right in the path, uh, First Steps to Success in Georgia in August. And we said, oh, well, why don't we go to that so we know what you're going to be about. And we went, and our eyes were just blown open. In fact, here we are. Um, we're doing quite well in our company and, and making a significant amount of money, but we had no idea about money management. We were spending $1,600 over our budget going into debt that much Per month, and we sat in that first first steps to success, and our eyes were just, you know, blown out of the water. It was just incredible to realize, hey, it's not how much money you make, yep. it's how much you keep. Yep. And that was one of the first principles that first steps to success did for us, for our family. Um, it it was incredible. Um, Mary, what was it like to be going into debt $1,600 per month, making good money, but failing financially and going into debt $1,600 a month? What? Tell me what life was like right there in that moment. Well, if you've been married and you have overdraft fees of $200, $300, you've got finance fees of you know, literally $1,000 a month. You know that at least once a month you're having a blowout fight, you and your husband. Um, we were fighting all the time. We could not get a hold of this tsunami of that that was taking over us. We just, it was miserable. I mean, I, I do feel, too, that, that we were heading to a really bad place. If it wasn't for first steps to success, I don't know if my husband and I would be married today. Yeah. I hear that all the time. I hear that all the time. Uh, Rick Hennett just said the same exact thing. He said that if he had not gone, he also went in 2007. It was June 2007. And he said the same thing. He says, if I had not gone to those events for all those years, he says, I I know I wouldn't be married today. Um, I would be bankrupt. I wouldn't have the two children I have today. Uh, We wouldn't have all this success and be all over television today. I mean, it's crazy to look at that just one decision that we can make can make or break us. One decision that we can make. We could be faced in front of a door of opportunity, a door that actually brings the answers to the financial problems, to the marriage problems, to the business problems, even to the health problems. We could be looking at a door that here's the solution, and we could look at that and say, ah, it's too expensive. We can't afford it. We're going $1,600 in debt every single month, so we really can't go. It's, It's surprising to me, Mary, that even though you guys were uh, miserable and you had $1,600 in debt a month that you were going into, that you guys still found a way to go to first steps to success. That something inside your belly said, we better be there. And you did it, which is amazing. When we continue, we're gonna dig more into that story and find out exactly how much debt 
was Dr. Mary Starr and her husband carrying at that time? And how did they begin to dig themselves out of that? How long did it take? Where are they today? Are they still having success seven years later? This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more of the Danny Johnson Show right after this. There's something in you that's calling out and reaching out and striving and you know that when you're performing and when you're singing or when you're dancing there's nothing like it because you feel like you're finally doing what you were born to do so who are the stars of tomorrow who do they look up to and how will they change the culture amtc is actors models and talent for christ a talent development ministry with a mission to find, prepare, and launch God's talent. Go to amtcaudition.com to find the nearest dates and cities where free auditions will be occurring near you. Some of us are called to be in front of cameras and on sets. That's still our mission field. Answer the call. Go to amtcaudition.com. That's amtcaudition.com. Hi, I'm eHarmony.com founder, Dr. Neil Clark Warren. When we started eHarmony.com in the year 2000, we never dreamed that by the year 2013, we'd have over 565,000 marriages. A high percentage of these marriages have involved two persons deeply dedicated to the Christian values we commonly espouse. Marriages that have proven to be unbelievably enduring and satisfying. Now, maybe you've never considered eHarmony. Some of you have tried us and didn't find what you were looking for. Whatever your story, I want you to know how deeply committed I am to the importance of maintaining a strong allegiance to everything Christian marriage stands for. If you've been away for a while, we want to welcome you back. We promise to do everything in our power to help you succeed. Come to eHarmony.com and get started today for free. Brooklyn Tabernacle Pastor Jim Cimbala on America's decline in 2014. And we're in one of the most massive declines, no matter how you try to spin it, in the history of our country. Average church size, the number of biblically defined Christians has sunk by four different polling agencies, somewhere between 6.3 to 9% of the population. The, the statistics are irrefutable. The church is in a massive decline. Pastors are leaving the ministry at 1,500 a month in America, all 50 states. States, about one per state per day. We have to go back to first principles of why are we here to spread the gospel? How can we do it successfully? Only through the power of the Holy Spirit. How can we live Christ-like lives when we spend more time with the Lord? Will spending time with the Lord save America in 2014? Check out Pray2014.com. That's P-R-A-Y 2014.com. And get Pastor Symbola's prayer focus for this year at no cost. That's Pray2014.com. Four radio talk show hosts in a village called Kadwa. Here's Danny's story. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson, and I'm here with Vida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. We're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheet or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. When we came in, she said she wasn't smiling because she hadn't eaten yet. A mother gives her children whatever food that she has, and she's usually the last to eat. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? Thing. The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. But if you hold the cause of these people, they're not asking for nice clothes. They're not asking for video games, new socks and underwear. It'd be great if they actually had a pair. We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Dial 855-916-4673 or go to kingsransom.org. That's 855-916-4673. 
This Easter, experience the hope of one family's remarkable story. You saw heaven? What does it look like? It's beautiful. The New York Times number one bestseller, Heaven is for Real, now a major motion picture based on the incredible experience of a young boy's journey to heaven and his return home. Heaven is for Real, starring Greg Kinnear and introducing Connor Corum as Colton Burpo. In theaters Wednesday, April 16th. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Go to heavenisforrealmovieresources.com. I am Professor Radisson. This is Philosophy 150. Fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words. God is dead. When your faith is tested, would you fight for what you believe? I actually believe in God. To me, he's not dead. He's alive. God's not dead. He's surely alive. God's Not Dead. The movie. Join the movement at the box office and say, God's Not Dead. He's surely alive. Now playing. Rated PG. For more information, go to godsnotdeadthemovie.com. There's just so much that she's done to help people. To help their children face the next generation with success. To declare war on things that tear families apart. And to look people straight in the eye and to tell them how much they mean to her. There is no one else. Like this lady right here. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. Grew up on welfare, pregnant at 17, homeless at 21, but millionaire by 23. Today I'm a multi-millionaire, best-selling author, international speaker, entrepreneur, mother of five, grandmother of five. That one always shocks me. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what shocks me more. The fact that I'm not the rip-roaring failure that my, uh, yeah, that my father, at least the man that raised me, said I would be, or that, yeah, the people from my hometown said that I would be the big giant failure. I was a reject, a deject. I was never going to amount to anything least likely to succeed in high school. Yeah. I have a passion about seeing you succeed. I really do. I have an absolute passion about you being equipped to go and be things you never even thought were possible. I've been teaching and training people for 23 years on how to succeed in their jobs, their businesses, their finances, with their families, their personal relationships, as well as their professional relationships. We today have been interviewing two of our absolute faithful clients, people who were failing miserably before they came in contact with our website, dannyjohnson.com. These precious people humbled themselves. They got teachable. They pulled nuggets out, and they began to have crazy success. And now they are an inspiration to you that if they can do it, then so can you. We have tens of thousands of testimonials, just like the two that we're interviewing today, and I want you to be the next one. One, Dr. Mary Starr and her husband are going into to debt $1,600 per month. Could you imagine going into debt, overspending? They were making good money with their business. She's a chiropractor. She also is a specialist with essential oils. And she was making good money, but blowing it all and more. So they came out. To first steps. Now, Mary, I asked that question at the very end of the last segment. So here, because there's somebody listening right now that's like in that same place. They're going into debt, what, $500 a month, 1000 bucks a month, like you, $1,600 a month or more. And they've heard about the, the training event. And they're going, oh, the timing's not good. I don't have the money. I can't afford it because I'm in so much debt. What do you say to that person? Yes. Uh, Shut up, <laughs> you know, stop the excuses, because if you really want your life to change, you'll get there. Yep. And, um, I, I mean, you've seen it, Danny, I've seen it. I've seen people who are homeless come to that event. I've seen people hitchhike to the event, yep. sleep in their car. Yep. Um, you know, and I know I've done, you know, 14 events traveling all over, you know, the United States when it's not convenient, when it's not easy, but... You know, the life I live today, it wasn't easy to have this, but it's it's incredible. And it ha- it started from a first step to success, without a doubt. Yeah. So how without much debt were you and your husband carrying at the time? We were personally carrying a quarter of a million in debt, 250000 Wow. We were personally carrying that. And, and you hadn't even owned a home yet. You had never even purchased a home. Oh, yeah. A quarter of a million no, dollars of the debt between 
student loans, right, to be a chiropractor, credit cards, yeah. and what other kind of loans that it was that you had. <gasps> wow. Yeah. What did it yeah, feel I like to have that? Chiropractic. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, say again? When I graduated chiropractic school and opened up my practice, I immediately had a quarter million in debt. Gosh. So, Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, you know, a real struggle. And I thought my home business was the way out of it. And because my home business was paying the bills, you know, paying those student loans, I thought, oh, I'm good. I didn't even really realize how much we were going into debt. Wow. You know, except that, you know, I had finance charges and overdraft fees and things like that. I'm like, oh, but a check's coming. I'll get money next month. I'll get money next month. And um, that wasn't the way to live. No, no. The way to live. no, living above your means is never the way to live. And ignoring your, your uh, bank statements is also not a way to live. And trying to keep up the air. I'm a doctor, you know, I'm doing well in, in my, you know, representing my manufacturer. You know, we're doing good. And you just keep spending like somehow it's going to fix itself. And it never fix itself. It never will fix itself. You've got to have a powerful strategy. That strategy is called war on debt. you got to declare your war on your debt. Because if you don't, it's going to kill you. It, debt has killed many people. It has destroyed families. And if you think for a second it isn't going to destroy your marriage or your kids or your life, you are being stupid. Stop being stupid. Do something about it. We'll continue with more after this. This Easter, experience the hope of one family's remarkable story. You saw heaven? What does it look like? It's beautiful. The New York Times number one bestseller, Heaven is for Real, now a major motion picture. Based on the incredible experience of a young boy's journey to heaven and his return home, Heaven is for Real, starring Greg Kinnear and introducing Connor Corum as Colton Burpo. In theaters Wednesday, April 16th. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Go to heavenisforrealmovieresources.com. I'm Professor Radisson. This is Philosophy 150. Fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words. God is dead. When your faith is tested, would you fight for what you believe? I actually believe in God. To me, he's not dead. He's alive. God's not dead. He's surely alive. God's Not Dead, the movie. Join the movement at the box office and say, God's Not Dead. He's surely alive. Now playing. Rated PG. For more information, go to godsnotdeadthemovie.com. Hi, I'm eHarmony.com founder, Dr. Neil Clark Warren. When we started eHarmony.com in the year 2000, we never dreamed that by the year 2013, we'd have over 565,000 marriages. A high percentage of these marriages have involved two persons deeply dedicated to the Christian values we commonly espouse, marriages that have proven to be unbelievably enduring and satisfying. Now, maybe you've never considered eHarmony. Some of you have tried us and didn't find what you were looking for. Whatever your story, I want you to know how deeply committed I am to the importance of maintaining a strong allegiance to everything Christian marriage stands for. If you've been away for a while, we want to welcome you back. We promise to do everything in our power to help you succeed. Come to eHarmony.com and get started today for free. There's something in you that's calling out and reaching out and striving. And you know that when you're performing and when you're singing or when you're dancing, there's nothing like it because you feel like you're finally doing what you were born to do. So who are the stars of tomorrow? Who do they look up to? And how will they change the culture? AMTC is Actors, Models, and Talent for Christ, a talent development ministry with a mission to find, prepare, and launch God's talent. Go to amtcaudition.com to find the nearest dates and cities where free auditions will be occurring near you. Some of us are called to be in front of cameras and on sets. That's still our mission field. 
Answer the call. Go to amtcaudition.com. That's amtcaudition.com. Brooklyn Tabernacle Pastor Jim Cimbala on America's decline in 2014. And we're in one of the most massive declines, no matter how you try to spin it, in the history of our country. Average church size, the number of biblically defined Christians has sunk by four different polling agencies, somewhere between 6.3 to 9% of the population. The, the statistics are irrefutable. The church is in a massive decline. Pastors are leaving the ministry at 1,500 a month in America, all 50 states. States, about one per state per day. We have to go back to first principles of why are we here to spread the gospel? How can we do it successfully? Only through the power of the Holy Spirit. How can we live Christ-like lives when we spend more time with the Lord? Will spending time with the Lord save America in 2014? Check out Pray2014.com. That's P-R-A-Y 2014.com. And get Pastor Symbola's prayer focus for this year at no cost. That's Pray2014.com. Four radio talk show hosts in a village called Codwell. Here's Danny's story. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson, and I'm here with Vida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. We're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheets or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. When we came in, she said she wasn't smiling because she hadn't eaten yet. A mother gives her children whatever food that she has, and she's usually the last to eat. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? Thing. The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. But if you hold, hold the cause of these people, they're not asking for nice clothes. They're not asking for video games, new socks and underwear. It'd be great if they actually have a pair. We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Dial 855-916-4673 or go to kingsransom.org. That's 855-916-4673. Why don't you groom your kids for success? What's the option? Letting your daughter hang out with ne'er do wells and eventually bringing you a grandchild with a pierced navel? Don't get a grandbaby with a pierced navel. Listen to Danny Johnson. It'll turn things around. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. Joining me today, Dr. Mary Starr, who's a precious, faithful client of the DannyJohnson.com community. Uh, as well as a precious woman to me personally. She was with me when I was paralyzed from the waist down and helped to nurse me the best that she could um, back to health. And uh, her advice um, I have used now for years, the recommendations that she has given me. She really made an impact on my life uh, back in 2009. So 2007, Dr. Mary Starr came to us with a quarter of a million dollars worth of debt, um, making money but spending more than she was making to the tune of going into debt, $1,600 a month. So, Mary, you came out of first steps to success, you and your husband, and uh, you didn't stop there. You guys continued to come month after month after month, and you also bought, brought a bunch of business associates along with you and your staff uh, you brought along with you. What growth did you see professionally in your business as well as with your debt, um, meaning paying off your debt, not that your debt grew, <laughs> but what were some of the first <laughs> things that you did to improve your life with what you learned there? Uh, one of the first things we did is we got rid of the extras and stopped the $1,600, you know, of over debt. Um, the second thing we did was we got our team. We knew that our friends, our personal friends, and our team members who we were in home business with, some of our staff needed to get to the first steps training. So that was a, a big focus for us in those first few years. And it was amazing. You know, my personal friends became better friends. After coming out of First Step, I met, met amazing people. Um, in three and a half years, we paid off of 100000 of that quarter of a million in debt. Um, then I started to really see, as my team came, my home business started to take a jump after years of being plateaued. Yeah. Years. I was working 60-plus hours a week, Danny, and my husband probably 70 or 80, and I dropped my hours down to 20 or 30, mm -hmm. and I was making more money. Our marriage was so much better. My husband ended up 
um, getting a, into a new career. In the first 100 days of his job, he was promoted three times. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, in the past um, three years, too, that same company hired him into the corporate. He is the only person who can work from home. The company is out of California who he didn't have the degree. He didn't have, you know, the qualifications, but because of the job he did, his training and first step, and his willingness to learn, they hired him for a corporate position. Wow. I mean, it's, it's you know, all different areas. Our staff, I mean, right now, uh, we do not hire anyone unless they go to first step to success or they're or going to within the first six months to a year. Yeah. They have to train up with uh, a lot of the tools products that you sell and it's just made a huge difference we tried it the other ways and stuff and tried to you know say oh that's okay you know you can go again maybe next month but now it's night and day night and day those who are trained with first steps to success they're better employees they're long term they know how to get the job done and that ultimately what brought us the greatest success we've doubled our income in our home business um I mean, radically, radically, radically. It's uh, outstanding income. We're so excited about that. We have four companies total now. Um, I, I've i paid off a total of $137,000 in debt. Wow. I went back to school and got trained to create another source of income online, and I spent 75000 between your training and this other training to learn how to do that, and now I have another source of income. We have that business. We have real estate. You know, it's just, you know, we didn't have a home. We didn't even have a home, <laughs> you know, and and we just got to move to Florida and really live a very beautiful, simple life. We have a, a nice home and then a little cottage where we work out of. Our kids can run and play. You know, all this time, Danny, you know, we've able to raise kids and we've had personal tragedies we had things like that but it's what we learned at first steps to success that is the foundation and there's so much more that you don't even talk about on the radio show that you just you can only experience by going you really 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 can only experience by going how much your life has changed the hundreds of people that we've brought not one of them not one of them hasn't said they haven't had some kind of you know a huge change in our life. Wow. So you are uh, an amazing story, first of all, you know, to go from a quarter of a million dollars worth of debt and to knock out $130,000 of that. Girl, it's time to knock out the rest of that, especially with the increase of income. You've doubled your income, just you personally, but your husband too. And your husband has used our job domination strategies to go from a guy that didn't have the education that the job required, didn't have the the background that the job required, but utilizing what we teach um, to interview for something he's not qualified for, and then to produce results, because that's all every employer wants. They want results. They want someone that can produce results and not someone who can produce problems or not somebody that's going to bring drama into the office, but someone that's focused, deliberate, excellent with diligence. Um, and those people are highly valued in the marketplace. And then for him to be the only person in that corporation to be able to work from home. And, and also he's generated a crazy amount of income himself too. So Mary, you know, so oftentimes we can get ourselves in really bad situations and we try to ignore it. You know, we, we somehow, in fact, I want to know this from you. Um, you're a quarter of a million dollars in debt in 2007. What were you thinking that was going to take care of that? I mean, was, was your solution make more money so you can pay off your debt? Work harder, make more money, work harder, make more money, work harder. I got to get the next rank. I got to do this. And I'll be making the money to pay that off. And and so d- did that did that solution actually work? No, <laughs> no I, I was literally plateaued for five years. For five years. So here, you you know, for five years, you think, okay, if I could just make more money, if I could work more hours, so you're working 60 to 70 hours a week, you know, you don't have a life. You're nothing but a slave to your to your businesses. 
And in your mind, and this is how a lot of people think, Mary, they think that if I could just make more money, if I could just work hard, if I could just work more hours, if I could just make more money, then my debt's going to disappear somehow. But it doesn't work. And people need to look at the facts. How long have you been working that plan? Is it doing it? Is it working it? Do you still have that debt or do you have more debt than when you started on that plan? In most cases, people have more debt than when they started on that plan. So the solution is you need a new strategy. And the new strategy that Dr. Mary and her husband used was war on debt. War on debt, they applied that. And I remember getting a list from you, Mary, <laughs> where you wrote this list and you said, you know you have declared war on debt when? <laughs> such an awesome list, man. I still have it in my first steps binder because it was hilarious. You hang up your clothes to dry because you don't want to pay extra money to for the electric bill to dry your clothes for you. So you hang them to dry. You know, simple little things. You're scra- you know, you cut off the end of the of the toothpaste container. You get a whole nother week's worth of toothpaste out of the toothpaste container if you just cut off the top. I do that every single time. My toothpaste container, I can't squeeze any more out of it, I cut the top off. I'm a multimillionaire, and I do that. Why? Because that's what multimillionaires do who are creating wealth. There's lots of people who make a lot of money, but it doesn't mean they've created wealth. It does not mean they have something to pass down to the next generation at all. Riches run away from you, but if you truly want to be wealthy, you got to be frugal, and you got to be wise. You got to be faithful with the little things. Mary, you mentioned something about that you've brought your staff, and it's a requirement for your staff to be a graduate of First Steps to Success, creating a dynasty, which is our leadership advanced training seminar. Why do you make that a requirement? Meaning that you're not going to work with somebody unless they're getting trained in that environment and learning those new skills. The reason that um, both my husband and our companies re- make that a requirement is we've seen what happens when we don't, <laughs> and that usually ends up with having to fire people, our time wasted, their time wasted, money wasted. Yep. And, you know, first step is just the way to go, yep. and it's both. The yep. first step is creating a dark. Yep. The reality is, is that bad employees can ruin a business. That's the facts. Bad employees can get you out of business. They can put you out of business. Great employees, and you don't find great employees. No, you develop people. Great leadership is not found. It is developed. And First Steps to Success will help you develop your staff, help you develop your team if you have a home-based business. It's going to help you develop your family where people are working better together and improving the overall abundance that can be brought into a business or into a home. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with the last segment of the Danny Johnson Show right after this. There's something in you that's calling out and reaching out and striving and you know that when you're performing and when you're singing or when you're dancing there's nothing like it because you feel like you're finally doing what you were born to do so who are the stars of tomorrow who do they look up to and how will they change the culture amtc is actors models and talent for christ a talent development ministry with a mission to find, prepare, and launch God's talent. Go to amtcaudition.com to find the nearest dates and cities where free auditions will be occurring near you. Some of us are called to be in front of cameras and on sets. That's still our mission field. Answer the call. Go to amtcaudition.com. That's amtcaudition.com. Hi, I'm eHarmony.com founder, Dr. Neil Clark Warren. When we started eHarmony.com in the year 2000, we never dreamed that by the year 2013, we'd have over 565,000 marriages. A high percentage of these marriages have involved two persons deeply dedicated to the Christian values we commonly espouse, marriages that have proven to be unbelievably enduring and satisfying. Now, maybe you've never considered eHarmony. 
Some of you have tried us and didn't find what you were looking for. Whatever your story, I want you to know how deeply committed I am to the importance of maintaining a strong allegiance to everything Christian marriage stands for. If you've been away for a while, we want to welcome you back. We promise to do everything in our power to help you succeed. Come to eHarmony.com and get started today for free. This Easter, experience the hope of one family's remarkable story. You saw heaven? What does it look like? It's beautiful. The New York Times number one bestseller, Heaven is for Real, now a major motion picture based on the incredible experience of a young boy's journey to heaven and his return home. Heaven is for Real, starring Greg Kinnear and introducing Connor Corum as Colton Burpo. In theaters Wednesday, April 16th. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Go to heavenisforrealmovieresources.com. I am Professor Radisson. This is Philosophy 150. Fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words. God is dead. When your faith is tested, would you fight for what you believe? I actually believe in God. To me, he's not dead. He's alive. God's not dead. He's surely alive. God's Not Dead, the movie. Join the movement at the box office and say, God's Not Dead, He's Surely Alive. Now playing. Rated PG. For more information, go to godsnotdeadthemovie.com. Four radio talk show hosts in a village called Kadwa. Here's Danny's story. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson, and I'm here with Fida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. We're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheets or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. When we came in, she said she wasn't smiling because she hadn't eaten yet. A mother gives her children whatever food that she has, and she's usually the last to eat. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. But if you hold the cause of these people, you're not asking for nice clothes. Clothes. They're not asking for video games, new socks and underwear. It'd be great if they actually have a pair. We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Dial 855-916-4673 or go to kingsransom.org. That's 855-916-4673. Brooklyn Tabernacle Pastor Jim Cimbala on America's decline in 2014. And we're in one of the most massive declines, no matter how you try to spin it, in the history of our country. Average church size, the number of biblically defined Christians has sunk by four different polling agencies, somewhere between 6.3 to 9 percent of the population. The, the statistics are irrefutable. The church is in a massive decline. Pastors are leaving the ministry at 1,500 a month in America, all 50 states. States, about one per state per day. We have to go back to first principles of why are we here to spread the gospel? How can we do it successfully? Only through the power of the Holy Spirit. How can we live Christ-like lives when we spend more time with the Lord? Will spending time with the Lord save America in 2014? Check out Pray2014.com. That's P-R-A-Y 2014.com and get Pastor Symbola's prayer focus for this year at no cost. That's Pray2014.com. So politicians are all like, let me be clear, and I'll give you something you've never gotten anywhere else before. How's that working for you? You know what? She's tired of that mess. How about this? You listen to her. She brings you hope. You make the change. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. Have you ever felt like you were under so much financial pressure that you just wanted to die? Have you ever felt like it would never change? That you've gotten yourself so deep under that debt that there just was absolutely no way that it would ever change. I remember feeling that way. I remember feeling like I actually wanted to die. I couldn't figure out how to make money. I couldn't figure out how to be able to pay off that debt. I had so much regret for why in the world did I use my credit cards for something so stupid, so silly? Why? Why did I get myself into this financial mess? Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. I was once a homeless woman buried under financial problems as well as failed in my first marriage. 
I really, really thought that my life was truly destined for failure, that forever my life was going to be difficult like this. Forever I wouldn't be able to trust people. Forever I would just do nothing but fail again and again, just as my stepfather said that I would. But I'm happy to tell you that that is not the truth. It doesn't matter how bad you have uh, gotten yourself into some nasty messes. It doesn't matter how big the mess is even right now. What matters is that today you make new decisions. And I'm living proof. Also, my guest today, Dr. Mary Starr, is living proof that even if you've messed up really, 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 really bad, that you can turn it around. I was a homeless woman who started a business from the trunk of my car in a payphone booth. My first four days, I turned my finances around and made $2,000 profit. The next 30 days, $6,500. You can turn your finances around quickly. First year, a quarter of a million dollars. My second year, I became a millionaire for the first time through business. Did I have all the experience in the world? No. The year before I started that business, I had invested into an education actually using my credit cards to learn how to succeed from a successful millionaire. That millionaire shared with me some simple strategies, some of which weren't so hot, but some that were really solid. And I can tell you that I wouldn't be where I'm at today had I did not invest that money into my own personal education through those training seminars. Today I'm a multimillionaire, best-selling author, international speaker, radio and television show host who has a show every single day of the week that airs on radio or television. Mom of five, grandmother of five, and we own several companies. Never did I imagine, friend, that not only would my financial life be completely different from the place where I started and the place where my family came from, but my passion for sounding the alarm to everyday average people who are just like me who made a lot of mistakes, who maybe didn't have the education, who maybe didn't have the right upbringing. My passion for seeing people like you and me prosper to places we didn't know was possible. Seeing people like you annihilate all of your debt in five to seven years, including your mortgage. Seeing people like you, seeing you not only pay off your mortgage, not only pay off all of your debt, but to grow in your career, as we just heard Dr. Mary Starr's husband has done. He had no experience in the field he was applying to, but man, those skill sets, those communication skills that he learned at the training seminar, First Steps to Success, just like the one coming up May 3rd, 4th, and 5th in Baltimore, Maryland. Those same strategies helped him to grow dynamically in his career, now working for a corporation that doesn't allow anybody to work from home except for him. I want to see you, if you have a business and it's fledgling, it's dying, it's anemic, just like Rick Hennett's business was when he came to us in 2007. Today, he's a multimillionaire with several companies making millions of dollars. You've seen him on the Shark Tank, he and his wife from uh, the Shark Tank with their most recent business, Grace and Lace, which again, they used all those same strategies that they learned at that training seminar applied it to an online business that has grown to crazy, crazy places. I want to see the dream that is in you, whether that dream is to feed orphans, take care of the widow, the sick, help kids to get out of the sex trade, feed the poor, bring in clean water supplies all over the world. That's a vision I share with you. I am passionate, my friend, about your dreams coming true. I have to introduce you to two of our friends who have made it possible for many people to eat, to have clean water, that have no home, that now will have a home. Kingsransom.org with the Kadwa Haiti Project. We are transforming an entire village, building 65 homes, two new clean water supplies, a sugar plant that will supply 200 jobs, We're going to bring food, water, and jobs into a place that is desolate and a place where people are dying each and every week because of contaminated, disgusting, disease-filled water and no food. I want to see if that is your dream to do things like that. I want to see you join us 
and making that happen. If you go to kingsransom.org, you can find information out about Codwa Haiti and that project that we're working on, as well as other projects. But really, do what you can. You know, if you got 10 bucks in your pocket, give it to kingsransom.org for the, King, the Codwa Haiti project. If you got 100 bucks that you want to give, do that. If you got 1,000 bucks, do that. Imagine your life being something more than just debt, more than just business, more than just entertainment, more than just shopping, but it's about improving the lives of other people. And if you have a dream that you want to sing, dance, you want to be in the fashion business, you want to be an actress or an actor, a director, even a comedian that's performing before thousands of people, call my friends at AMTC. AMTC is a talent organization that's doing free auditions all over the country right now. And if you've got that dream inside of you and no one's ever believed in you, I believe in you. And I believe that God's planted that inside of you because you're supposed to do it. But you need the skill set. You need to be able to develop that. You also need to know how to audition before those people in Hollywood or Nashville, right there in your local theater. AMTC for free are doing auditions and they will work with you to help you develop that. Call them right now, 800-STAR-420. Again, that's 800-STAR-420. Or go to amtcaudition.com. Again, that's amtcaudition.com. Get a hold of them. Start following out that dream. You just heard two people that their dreams have come true. Their dream of increased finances, annihilating debt, their dream of feeding the poor, their dream of being able to spend quality time with their family, their dream of cutting back their hours so that they can vacation and travel and do things that's close and near and dear to their hearts. These dreams have come true for these people. It's your turn. It's your turn. You must do what it takes and take action. That free book. First Steps to Wealth is available at dannyjohnson.com. If I were you, I'd be checking into when that next seminar is. Get to it immediately. Thank you so much for joining me today. We will talk to you tomorrow with more of the Danny Johnson Show each and every day. Have a great one on purpose. Talk to you soon. Bye.